I am, silly. You invited me, and I'm not one to back out of an invitation. I can't believe you did all this for me. Great banner. Love the stage. What's this flame thingy? Oh, it's pretty. You invited Thorax over to Ponyville on the same day as Ember? I completely forgot. I'm so glad you invited me. You are one of my closest, nicest, most caring, most understanding friends ever. Ooh, is that ice in the shape of a dragon? So, uh, Thorax, everything good with you? Well, honestly, no, not really. I have indigestion. I'm not sure if it's the new diet or stress or, or maybe... Sounds like you really need to unwind. Uh, how about a, uh, a trip to the castle? <laughs> you can't miss that view. Yes, the castle. I'll give you a personal tour. Uh, aren't you coming? So, this is my comfy chair for fictional reads. <clears throat> This is my studying chair because the hard back keeps me awake. Oh, Spike! I'm so glad you're here. Well, this castle visit is getting weird. Twilight really likes chairs. What happened to the ice cream? What? Oh, right! Uh, they ran out! Be right back! Uh, but we didn't get a talk yet! Uh Uh, hey, Thorax. Um, Twilight and Spike had some boring official paperwork to do. I wanted to talk with Spike. He said he'd be right back. Oh, you will. But first, how about we grab a bite to eat? Huh, well, you know, now that you've said it, I am a little hungry. Is there a dining room in the castle? No! I mean, yeah, but that's castle food. If you want the good stuff, we gotta go to town. Phew. Huh. I guess I never thought of it that way. Thanks, Spike. There you are. Uh, done with your boring paperwork, I see. <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. I thought coming to town was a really, really great idea. Well, maybe now we can talk. First of all, I want to say thank you for having me over. That's the cutest fucking thing I've ever seen in my entire life. I'm in a bit of a leadership pickle, and I could use some advice. There's this renegade group of changelings who still feed off of love. Even though I said, hey, let's not do that anymore, they say, hey, this is how we've been doing things for hundreds of years. It... <sighs> hey, that was really great advice. So what do you think I should do? Actually, I uh, need a minute alone to uh, really come up with great advice. <sighs> I'll be right back. <sighs> great. No problem. Leave me again. It's fine. Uh, well, I've seen you. Are you calling me a liar? Hey, no one yells at my friend. Spike, get away from the bear. Actually, the bear is a changeling, and he's quite gentle. Not anymore. Back away, Spike. I'm not gonna let this dragon harm a scale on your back. That's what I'm doing. Uh, what? Yeah, what? Because I accidentally invited you both over to Ponyville on the same day? So, so what? what? So I was trying to keep you apart because I didn't think you'd get along. I'm sorry. No, no, it's cool. You thought I would be too soft and someone like Ember would never respect me. Just like my own changelings. No, that's not it! Thorax, wait! Why are you still here? <sighs> because I'm having trouble eating my pack, so I don't really want to go home. I tried asking them to please follow my directions. I even offered a prize, and then... Shh! Stop talking! That's how you do it. Whoa, that just gave me chills. I know you have it in you. You turned into a bear to defend Spike. Huh, I guess I can be tough when I'm defending my friends, but when I'm just enforcing my rules, I, I feel unsure of myself. There's nothing to be unsure of. You're the leader for a reason. And if that doesn't work, turn into a bear. <laughs> well, that's good advice. I know it is. <laughs> Uh, 
How does that help? Crushing another dragon in competition establishes my dominance and makes me feel great. <laughs> right, but uh, how do you think they feel? Humiliated! Ashamed! They'd probably want to run away and bury themselves under a rock and... never come out. They're probably sad. Kinda low. Definitely not happy. That's because that kind of competition can divide you. And it doesn't get to the heart of the issue. Talking about your feelings does. I think I'm allergic to feelings. You know, you don't have to be sappy or huggy-feely about it, but you should let your friends know how you feel. Uh, I know where we can start. Where? Oh, Spike. <laughs> I got there. Probably never want to see me again. Guess what, Spike? I know. I feel <laughs> mad. <sighs> okay, that's a good first attempt. Now maybe try to be more specific. And I know I need to tell you how I feel because my friend Thorax said it would make me feel better. And it does! Yeah, and I have no problem telling you what you did was wrong because my friend Ember is helping me be more assertive. Whoa. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Can you forgive me? I really do feel better. So, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> me too. Oh. Oh. Uh, again? Yeah, but then I solved it by learning my lesson. I should have told my two friends about each other immediately, instead of assuming they wouldn't get along. To both Dragon Lord Ember and Thorax, leader of the Changeling Pack, may the flame of friendship burn for eternity. <laughs> Things made of rocks. <laughs> <laughs>